New Kia Stinger UK Pre-Production Review We get behind will of a pre-production version of Kia's new luxury Stinger Saloon. Verdict The signs are promising. With the diesel at £35,000 and GT set to cost around £41,000, the performance per pound equation looks pretty good for Kia. The Stinger needs to surprise people, says Kia's head of vehicle test and high performance development, Albert Bierman. The Korean firm poached him from BMW's M division, so it's fair to say this German engineer knows a thing or two about developing fast saloons. Chatting to the affable but focused Biermann, it's clear he means this in a positive way because the Stinger needs to change people's perceptions of the brand. Ahead of the Stinger going on sale this year, we teamed up with Kia and Biermann to get early access to a pre-production model in the UK to see how Kia's rival to the BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe is developing. The Korean brand has already proved it can shift a pound 40,000 plus SUV with its top spec Sorento, but now it wants a piece of the sports saloon market, too, and the Stinger is the car to do it. We've driven the car in prototype form already and liked what we experienced. This first taste on UK roads gives a better idea of what the Stinger is like in real-world diesel and range-topping turbocharged V6 petrol guises. The answer is promising. The 2.2-liter turbo diesel is well isolated, with a smooth, torque-rich power delivery. It only becomes intrusive when revved really hard. Adaptive dampers won't be available on the diesel version, but the passive suspension setup coped with some badly torn and rippled UK roads. Beerman highlights there's some refining of the ride to be done, as well as some recalibration of the steering, because it's noticeably heavier than in the high-performance GT. But the setup is supple and both variants are heading in pretty much the right direction, says the boss. The GT, meanwhile, feels genuinely fun and playful to drive, but that's not really a surprise given that there's a 365bhp 3.3-liter twin-turbo V6 under the elegantly sculpted bonnet. The 510nm of torque means it doesn't need to be revved hard either, there isn't much turbo lag, because the engine pulls strongly from low down. The target time for the 0 to 62 miles per hour dash is 5.1 seconds, and it feels good for it. A mechanical limited slip dip means it's adjustable on the throttle, too, indulging in up to now that most unkeel-like behavior of slides on the power. However, there's more to the car than that. The relatively long wheelbase and compliant, supple suspension setup in comfort give the Stinger GT a relaxed, loping quality on the road and plenty of stability. Ramp things up to Sport or Sport Plus, and the continuously variable dampers tighten up to enhance body control. It's at this point that Bierman steps in. We're pleased with the direction in which the project is heading, but for this sportier setting we could maybe ramp it up even further still, he says. The light but nicely geared steering gives the GT a keen sense of agility, because even though it weighs around 1,800 kg, Bierman and his team say they didn't want the car to feel heavy, so agility and steering precision were big engineering focuses. Key Specs Model, Kia Stinger 2.2 Diesel Price, up to £35,000, EST Engine, 2.2 liter 4CYL turbo diesel Power slash torque, 197 bhp slash 440 nm Transmission, 8 speed auto, rear wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour, 8.5 seconds. Top speed, 140 miles per hour. Economy slash CO2, 42.0 mpg, EST, slash N slash A. On sale, late 2017.